All right, Bola Buddies, let me know in the comments if this is you. Do you check the wallets? I don't normally, but if they're right there in the hard goods, I'll check them. No luck here. Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, so here we are. We are at the Goodwill Bins, and I love it. And I got to tell you, it's been over a month since I have been there because I have been listing like a machine to get these videos out for you guys. And um, I'm getting a lot listed. You're going to see quite a few items that I picked up to sell. So how I do my Goodwill Bins videos is I show you the footage, I do a voiceover, and I pop up screen shares of everything that I list. If I do not pop up a screen share, that means I threw the item back and I did not buy it or I have not listed it yet. So the game you just saw me put in the bottom of my cart I ended up looking up comps and throwing that item back. Sometimes I will part games out. Um, it really just depends on the situation, but that one I did not keep. What I also like to do in my Goodwill Bins videos is ask the viewers to tell me what I miss and time stamp it in the comments. So let's say I missed something at three minutes and 20 seconds. You can put the timestamp and then say, you missed this. I've done really well with those. I pick them up all the time. They sell for good money or something like that. I did pick up that little bunnies on the bay. It was a little rattle and I could not find any comps on that exact item. So I listed that high and I'm hoping that the bright buyer is going to come along for that. Um, I have found with plush, particularly the loveys, um, the little blankets, there is always someone looking for a replacement. So definitely be on the lookout for those. I'm hoping that little rattle is going to be kind of the same concept. Um, there is one thing I throw in my cart. Actually, there's a couple things that I just have not listed yet, and we'll talk about it when we get to those items. I do pick up all little Legos. Um, I pretty much am a Lego hoarder. And I have totes and totes upon Legos. I use them to complete sets. And from time to time, I will dig at them and list them individually. Like um, I did a bear the other day with a little sign and that one sold really quickly. Um, just little different things. Um, I have some of them bagged on Poshmark. So I also pick up any shoes, 18 inch shoes. And I will pick them up and throw them in my bag. And if I don't find the match, if it's an American girl, I will sell it individually. That shoe listing you just saw was a single shoe. And I already sold a single shoe this year that I picked up from the bins that was American girl. So it is definitely possible. Just make sure you disclose that they are only getting one shoe. And the reason people buy those is because their kids lose a shoe and they just want the replacement. So uh, a lot of those items are discontinued and you can't just go buy them again at the store. So people turn to eBay for those replacements. If you watch my channel, you will see I do a lot of replacement parts, um, a lot of bread and butter, a lot of long tail items. I'm okay with that. I am a list it and forget it type of um, eBay sales lady, I guess you can call me sales lady. Oh my goodness, did I say that? But anyway, um, if you check out my other videos, you will definitely see what I'm talking about. I do sell high dollar items. Also, you know, I just list what I can find. Uh, I have what sold videos for my bread and butter and then what sold videos for my big money bolo. So you can check those out as well if you wanna see what I'm selling. But I have tons and tons of bolo content on my channel. All right, you can see here I grabbed a bucket. Um, the reason I did that is because I pick up a lot of small toys and they fall through the cart. And uh, so I usually grab a bucket and put it in my top area of the cart and fill it with all those small toys. Small toys, I will either list them individually 
or I will list them in small lots. But I do pretty much grab anything that I know is like a name brand or something that is current and or vintage. So m small toys, they're just, they're cheap. They're cheap. And um, a lot of times you can get 15 to 20 bucks for one of those small toys. Some of them surprise me. But um, I do spend some time looking them up. A lot of the times I don't know what they are and I will use Google Lens. If you're not familiar with Google Lens, it is free. It's an app and you can download it and you can take a picture of something and then it will pull up items that are the same and this will help you identify your item. I do have a video that I did on that um, and let me pop that up for you guys. You guys, Google Lens is free. Definitely put it on your phone. Every reseller needs it. Oh my goodness, it has saved me so much time um, researching. It's definitely awesome. That Duplo Lego, I always pick up the Duplo Legos. I've talked about that in my other videos. I don't know what that little bear was. I'm wondering now if maybe I should have grabbed it. It seemed kind of special now that I'm looking back. How many times do you guys do that? Well, probably only if you're a YouTuber because otherwise you don't look back. But I'm looking back and I'm watching and I'm like, maybe I should have grabbed that. So thank you guys all so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe. Um, I just hit 30,000 subscribers not long ago and super excited about that. So I thank you all so much for, for being here and watching and supporting the channel. Um, we are going to look through this bin now. And... I'm not sure what that was. Was that Ryan's place? A lot of times I leave the bigger stuff behind uh, just because I don't want to ship it. I have told you guys in the past that um, like board games and bigger, heavier things I like to put on Poshmark um, because they have that set rate shipping and it's cheaper on Poshmark to ship than any other platform for those five pound items. So definitely check out Poshmark if you have not already. I start my items on eBay and then I cross post with List Perfectly to um, Mercari and Poshmark. So those are the three platforms I'm on. I use List Perfectly because I want to do it faster. I do not want to manually cross post. Um, if you guys are not familiar with List Perfectly, I do have a demo video down below. You can check that out. If it looks like something you'd be interested in, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. And I have been using that since 2019, and I still love it. Um, one of the best things I've ever purchased or that I purchase on a monthly basis for my business. I did pick up this right here, and I have not listed it yet. Um, it's a, like a, a robe. And it just had this really, really pretty print. And I think I can sell it. I, I don't know. I, I just haven't done anything with it. I need to put it in the washing machine. So that is in my cart. And that is sitting in the other room waiting for me to either, uh, I guess, wash it or list it. Or I got to look it over. So I have to decide if it's list worthy. If not, I will donate it. All right, what else did we find? There's one item I found that sold within like, I don't know, an hour. I can't remember. It was super fast. I did pick this up. Eh, I don't know if this was a good buy or not. It had a lot of damage when I got home. I was hoping it was going to be like a home run, but no, it, it wasn't that great. So I've got that priced, you know, at like 15, 16 bucks, and I will definitely take an offer on that. I just really hope the thing sells. I did not comp it out while I was there. A lot of times if I'm at the Goodwill bins, I will not search comps. It really just depends on how heavy the item is. If it's a lightweight item, I just usually will buy it because I assume I can make my money back. I'm not sure what that was, but thinking maybe I should have picked it up. I do love to sell plush and I really didn't pick up a whole lot of plush in this video, but there are some videos coming soon where I scored big on the plush so stay tuned for those and we're looking 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 all right i think we're about to come upon another item that i found and that i picked up oh a little mickey doorknob should i grab that doorknob 
I think it goes on your doorknob. I don't know what that thing is. Lots and lots of junk this time. <laughs> you can see I'm just digging and digging and not finding a whole lot. And sometimes that's how it goes. I've got a naked Ken. Now, how does that work with Ken? Is every male doll Ken? <laughs> I can't remember. I just called them all Ken. All right, here they are, these big old light bulbs. Now, I'm not sure if these are supposed to have stakes in them and then they fit like in your yard, but um, I just called them replacements to be safe because I was not sure. I keep looking at that peppermint and I'm like, should I have grabbed that? That's kind of cool. I usually pick up animated things. Um, I don't think I picked this one up. I think it had some uh, damage on the back of it, so some staining. So I left that one behind, but I do love animated toys. Um, I put those over on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. And this little guy is over on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. I have never seen this one. He is a, um, oh, I can't think of what he's called now. Fisher Price Laugh and Learn monkey. And he had that little backpack on and he actually talked. And I have never seen that one. So I listed that one a little bit high and I am hoping that's going to sell. All right. Right here, I don't remember. I feel like I might have looked up the brand on this because it was really, really pretty and I left it behind. Just I, I really don't do a whole lot of clothes. Um, I have a tendency to pick them up and then never list them, but this was really, really pretty. Would you guys have picked this up or left it behind? Did I make a mistake? I put it in my cart and then I looked it up and put it back. I, I feel like I couldn't find comps if I remember correctly. And I'm still over in the hard goods, I think. So I believe somebody threw these in the hard goods section. And whenever there's throwbacks, I always look at the throwbacks. And at the end of the video, you're going to see why I look at the throwbacks. Because I had a nice little score. Um, a tote of throwbacks <laughs> um, at the end of the video where I, I, I think I cleaned up. I was super excited about it. So definitely things that I like. Um, to buy and they were just sitting there waiting on me all right let's check in here oh uh, nope I think I need to start picking up those cases just to ship things and that would be nice oh my goodness I just went and stopped the video and I made my thumbnail real quick because I had an idea and Literally, I came back and it looked like my complete voiceover was gone. Dun, dun, dun. But it was okay. I found it. So I did not have to start from scratch. All right, you guys saw me pick up a movie or a DVD. I do pick those up if they are sealed. They are sitting in a pile and I need to list them. I have not listed those yet. Those are typically a bread and butter. Um, I do okay with them. Usually they are long tail items. Not a lot of people do DVDs anymore, um, but there are still people out there that will buy them, especially like kids DVDs. I will grab those for sure. And just anything sealed, pretty much I'll grab it. If they are Christian based, um, like Veggie Tales, those are definitely usually a win. But again, they are still long tail items but they are lightweight and they do not cost much. So the return is good on those. All right, we are gonna keep looking there. Oh, that was a VeggieTales. I don't think I've listed that one yet either. I actually just recently sold, I think two VeggieTales DVDs right here. Here it is, here's a Bolo. I think I undersold it um, and then I dropped it. So I sold this for $22 plus shipping. I want to say it sold within an hour of listing. And it's kind of like one of those boppets, but it's called Zing It. I had no idea what it was. I just thought it looked cool and I threw it in my cart and it paid off. I did search solds. Um, I'm not sure if I went over to Worth Point. I think I probably should have checked Worth Point on that one because... Um, it sold so quickly that I just feel like I undersold it, or maybe I had it priced just right. Um, I do use Worth Point. I love it. Um, if you guys are looking for ways to figure out what your item's valued at, Worth Point is a great tool. 
There is Terapeak. Terapeak is free through eBay, but Worth Point goes back further. And um, I think it's worth it. And I have some videos that tell you why I think Worth Point is worth it. And uh, you can check those out. And I do have a referral link down below for Worth Point. Um, I did grab that brush and then I donated that brush. I don't know what I was thinking grabbing that brush. I, I think I was thinking that maybe it was vintage, but um, I don't think it was. So I ended up putting that in my donate bag. There's a lot of things that I bring home and I end up donating. And I'm not afraid to tell you guys when I mess up uh, because, you know, that's how we all learn. I'm sure you guys come home with things in your cart that you're like, why on earth was this in my cart? Um, let me know in the comments if you can think of something that you recently brought home that you were like, what just happened? There was this one time I brought home a, uh, I think it was like either a CD or a DVD set and I ended up selling it, but I should not have bought it. This right here is a Kinex, uh battery operated motor for a uh, Kinex playset. I'm guessing that was incomplete. It's just thrown in a bag and I took the motor and just the motor. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think that's wrong? Do you think that's okay? This bin has been picked over and picked over. And from what I understand, those items, if they don't part them out to go to certain areas, they just go to the dump. So um, I feel like I saved a toy. I saved a replacement part. It's not a big money item, but they do sell. So the Connects motor, that's um, the little gear that makes it go forward and backwards. Always pick them up. And they're long tail. That little ball right there, um, it's a, a ball. They have them in blocks. Um, I always pick those up and lot them up. These right here are vintage and so, so cool. I can't believe they haven't sold yet. It's a Halloween prop, so you can like grab your salad or <laughs> whatever you want to stick them in, but they're like teeth. I love it. Cracks me up. So I thought that was a super fun find. I do have those listed kind of high, but i um, willing to take a best offer for sure. So just waiting on the right buyer to come along. Pokemon cards, you will find them loose on in the bins. That's another thing that I kind of just collect and sit to the side for when a day I have time to look them up or figure out uh, if they're worth any money. And you know, the longer they sit, the more money they are worth, right? <laughs> That's what I always say about my money pile. Hey, it's just getting more vintage. And if you don't know about my money pile, you can check that out in some of my reseller vlog videos. Um, I usually show my money pile. <laughs> oh my goodness, we won't talk about that. But I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I just like to shop. I like to source. We'll call it sourcing. It sounds more professional. I don't know what these are, but I feel like I should have got them just because they look so funky. All right, you guys, I look forward to seeing your comments down below of the things that you would have picked up that I missed. I feel like I did okay. I mean, it wasn't like a home run day. This is part one. There's going to be a part two. Typically, when I go to the Goodwill bins, I am there for four or five hours. So I try to get as much footage, footage as I can until my phone runs out of battery. There's one time um, my phone ran out of battery and they told me they were bringing out Christmas items. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I have got to go back in even if I don't have a battery and I can't record. So um, I went back in and I loaded my cart and I went out to the car. I plugged in my phone and I recorded my shopping cart for you guys. So I do have that video and it's already posted and I really did pretty well. Um, it was a lot of breakables and some of the items were actually broken. And um, we don't get a lot of breakables at our Goodwill bins. So I was kind of excited about it. Uh, not that I like breakables, but just that it was something different. And so you guys can go check out that video to see what I found and what I've already sold. I've sold quite a few things um, from that from that haul. So it was a good score. I'm glad I went back in. All right. I'm thinking I probably should have got those and I left them behind. They go to some sort of play set. They would have been replacement parts. They probably would have been long tail. I probably would have had a hard time identifying them, but they probably would have sold. 
So someone is always looking for those replacement parts and they're good to pick up. All right, this right here is a little, I think it's a Girl Scout uh, set. I put those over on Whatnot. I am utilizing the Buy It Now feature, so I'm kind of using it as a marketplace. So you just saw my pop-up. If not, you can rewind. That is my Whatnot. Um, uh, I'm Bolo Buddies over there. I guess it's my Whatnot platform. What do you call it? It's an app. So um, I'm Bolo Buddies over there. If you guys want to check out Whatnot, I highly recommend it. Um, I am linked down below. That is a referral link and you will get $15 to shop. Uh, that's free money, $15 when you join Whatnot with my referral link. And like I said, I'm putting things in the buy it now section. And I did a video on that telling you guys how to utilize that to make more money if you're selling on Whatnot. It's a great feature and a lot of people aren't using it and there's different ways that you can use it. So check out that video. I will try to remember to link it down in um, the description. All right, we are looking through some of these clothing items, which I don't typically do, but I did find this guy. Um, it's a dragon and it's a costume and it comped out pretty well. It's a size six, seven. So that is available in my eBay store. And I'm unzipping it here to check the size and to look at the brand. A lot of times I will do that while I'm at the store to help me determine if I want to pick the item up or not. And I did decide to pick that up. Now that was a heavier item. So that one probably cost me about three, four bucks, but um, I've got it listed at around 40. So I have best offer on all of my items and most of my items sell with best offer option. Okay, and like I said, at the end of the video, I go to um, the sides and I check what people have thrown back in and I find a tote full of goodies, goodies I like, so stay tuned for that. We are getting pretty close here. Thank you guys so much for being here. I don't know what this is. It looks leather, but it was pretty beat up. Um, do you guys pick up things like that? And if so, how do you do with them? Oh, guess who called? Donna Bottolino. If you're not following Donna, definitely check her out on YouTube. Her channel is her name, Donna Bottolino, and she sells to resellers. And she is now also over on Whatnot under her first name only, Donatella, and um, I ignored her call. Shh, don't tell. No, I think I called her back on the way home. But anyway, um, I was too busy shopping. And uh, that little watch that I have on, it is an iPhone watch. Is that what they're called? Um, I got that at a garage sale. And I don't wear it very often. I do wear it sometimes when I go to the bins because I'm recording with my phone. So it lets me know if somebody's calling or if um, I have a message that I need to respond to on eBay. But for the most part, I don't love it as much as I thought I would. So I'm really glad that I did not pay full price and that I found it at a garage sale. And it's really nice. It works great. Um, let's see what else we can find here. Yeah, that was one of those things where I'm like, I really think I want, and what are they called? An iPhone watch. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what they're called. I'm like, I really want one of those watches I kept telling my husband. And I kept thinking I was going to get one. And then I was like, I just don't know if I'd wear it. And then I found one at a garage sale charger and all. I was so excited and I got it for a really good deal. I can't remember how much. Um, I think I talked about it in another video, but I'm not 100% sure. But that was definitely a super score. I am looking at these belts, looking for anything super special. Um, I know Butterfly Hustles. Check her out, her YouTube channel. She always finds great belts. All right, here we are. Here we are. This is the stuff that everybody left behind. And you know what? I'm grabbing it. So we've got some monster trucks, which I liked a lot up. And we have some Blaze and the Monster Machine. I did grab these spoons. I haven't listed them yet. I don't know if I'm going to. They were a little worse for wear than I expected. Um, so I'm going to finish grabbing things out of this tote and I want to thank you guys all for being here and for watching and please like, comment, subscribe and share 
and I hope to see you guys at another video. And there's going to be some other videos popping up and a subscribe button. If you guys would watch another video, that would be great. I have tons and tons of what sold videos. My channel mainly focuses on what to look for, what to buy and resell. So if you're not a reseller and you just like watching Goodwill Ben's videos, definitely check out some of my what solds. It might change your mind because I dig a lot of items out of the bins. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.